later, we'll still have more conversation concerning the impact of uh, the Naira crunch and, of course, uh, the economy or economic activities uh, on the elections. But we'll go straight now to uh, River State. Now, we have standing by uh, Naku Burabi, a House of Reps uh, candidate, a court party in River State, who was disenfranchised due to lack of uh, House of Reps ballot papers. Uh, thank you for joining us. Thank you very much. All right. Can you uh, hear me? Yes, we can hear you loud and clear. Tell us exactly what happened at your ward. Um, well, both uh, both local governments actually there were okay. there was a litany of um, election irregularities this morning when we when the people of Kanago Kana Federal Constituency turned up to vote. Um, we can actually say that their mandate has been stolen from them, um, partly uh, based on I would like to think. Um, incompetence rather than culpability. Um, first of all, the materials turned up late. I'm, not, I'm sure that's, uh, that's uh, par for the course around the country. It's a new system. INEC is getting used to, you know, we are all getting used to this new system. However, there were significant parts of the process that were in direct contravention with what INEC had stipulated. Um, there were units in certain wards across uh, the local governments where result sheets weren't delivered to the polling units. Um, there were certain units that didn't have ballot papers for some candidates for the Senate race and the House of Representatives race. Um, there were uh, units where there were no materials at all um, turning up. Obviously, there were beaver's failures as well. Um, so it, it, it truncated the process in a way that wasn't a positive um, for this new electoral, uh, um, uh, you know, dispensation that we are trying to we are trying to achieve in Nigeria. We were all assured that this was uh, uh, a process that would increase the efficacy of, of our voting. Uh, it would it would assure us of the veracity of the vote in terms of numbers of people accredited matching ballot papers. However, I can say. Um, categorically that that was not the case, uh, particularly in Gokana local government, where um, results were taken from the units before the unit results were even announced and uploaded. And they were taken to somewhere else that wasn't the collation center. And there's evidence, I do have evidence, of people rewriting the results. Hmm. Okay, so far, with all that you have said so far and uh, all the irregularities, um, how far have you gone escalating it uh, to the electoral umpire? Well, um, the initial reports were lodged with the um, EOs, uh, well, at least the EO in, in one of the local governments, Kana local government. I went personally and lodged that myself. Um, I mean, there, was, there were units, there were the whole wards in Kana, at least the ward in Kana local government, where the electoral materials were sent to the wrong destination, and there was nothing done to reverse that. And as a result, voting did not happen in the whole ward, uh, Banga, Ward 7. Um, so there were all sorts of issues around that. There were no result sheets for all the polling units in uh, a ward, Kani, ward, um, ward 6 in Kana local government. Um, so throughout the day, I had recorded all these irregularities, and then at some point during the day, submitted um, a formal request for investigation and resolution to the EO at, um, at uh, Kana local government. Um, on, Gokana, in the Go on the Gokana side, rather, none of this came to light until voting was done, and the results were hijacked from polling units and delivered to a, a different destination, a different location, not the collation center. Um, so I'm just wondering what exactly they are going to um, post as the as the results for these um, these units and these wards. When we all know, everyone knows that results were not declared at the polling unit as they should have been, uh, and the results weren't uploaded on the Beavers machine as they should have been at the polling unit. All right. Aside from this particular irregularity that you have mentioned, uh, over uh, state and of course uh, local government and wards, uh, we have had. Uh, uh, reports of um, pockets of violence and late um, arrival of um, materials at some um, voting um, po um, polling unit. Um, would you say it was the same situation in your area? Well, voting in Gokana was fairly free and fair. I, I think it was relatively free and fair. I think that um, there was there was broad agreement that any any um, nefarious activity couldn't really take place during the actual voting process. And it would have been difficult for them to achieve that in Gokana because of the method of voting in Gokana. It's quite unique. 
Um, but it was very easy for them to wait for the votes to, to, um, to, to be cast and then just, you know, make away with the mandates of the people. In Kana local government, there were reports of, um, of sporadic shooting in certain parts of the local government, Ward 3, Yoku. Um, there, were, there was shooting there and they made off with the, um, they made off with the, um, the items. Um, there were pockets of violence right across and threats of violence right across the constituency. I don't know about the state because I was concentrating on my constituency. Um, so yes, there was violence, perhaps not as much as used to be, it used to be in the past. Yeah. But um, um, I can say that there was definitely intimidation across the, across the board. All right, thanks for the update that you've given us. We'll follow that particular development and see how um, INEC responds towards that. We have been speaking Thank with uh, Nako Birabi, a court um, uh, candidate for the House of Representatives in River State, Gokana, to be precise. Thanks for joining us. Thank you. All right, there's still ballots 2023, and we still have our guest. We've been looking at uh, the economic impact um, on elections in Nigeria. But uh, we'll take a quick break, and uh, we'll come back, and we'll have some more discussions for you. Stay with us. Hello. Hope you enjoyed the news. Please do subscribe to our YouTube channel, and don't forget to hit the notification button so you get notified about fresh news updates.